Okay, hello. Hi. Welcome. Good morning. Nova Romero, our intrepid city clerk. How are you doing? Pretty good. Good. Yeah. You dried off? Yes, and looking forward to three-day weekend. Yeah, three-day weekend. That's the, the first thing to let people know. Hello, it's uh, Friday, February 9th. Welcome. Uh, we are closed Monday, next Monday, the 12th, in celebration of President Lincoln's birthday. Mm -hmm. And the following Monday, the 19th, City Hall will also be closed for President's Day. Yes. We are very passionate about presidents here yes, in the city. Yes, uh, so two Mondays in a row, City Hall administrative services will be closed. We'll, of course, still have our emergency services, public works, all that good stuff. So uh, we'll still be here if you need us. Uh, but as far as City Hall goes, close two days. Um, and next week, though, even though we're closed on Monday, we've got a lot going on on Tuesday and Wednesday. We're going to have a two-day planning commission hearing. We're trying a new experiment. Um, trying to get more more projects through in a month than we normally would so we're going to do two shorter hopefully meetings you know four four ish hours but that's more items than we typically can get through in one planning commission so we're going to try that on tuesday and wednesday of next week both here in the chambers uh, so we're looking forward to that um, the big thing though that i want to talk about and then i want to hear from you nova is really just a, a thank you to everybody for getting through the storm last week. I think we were all feeling a little maybe maybe too cocky about the first few days of what was supposed to be the storm, and maybe we made the storm mad because I'll tell you what, Sunday was something. That was, yeah. a, that was a heck of a day. Um, so thank you to all of the people that were involved. I mean, the list is so long. Of course, you know, our forestry department, our public works department, uh, the building department, fire, police, our VIPs, our CERT teams, the administrative staff that helped. It was, it was just such a big effort. In fact, even our IT department, one of our, our new IT uh, employees, Daniel, was here out mucking out drains and moving sandbags and everything. So yeah. everybody lends a hand. Um, and so I think we came through it really well. Uh, kudos to everybody. We're still digging out after it. I mean, this is, this is where a lot of the work really takes place now. So please be patient with us. Some interesting facts just to let you know what's going on. Uh, just for Sunday, that Sunday, we had 120 calls to the police department. Um, they were very busy. Um, we recorded 109 tree incidents. Um, 61 of those have been resolved, so there's still work to do. That's why I say please be patient. In total, there's 43 city trees that were down. Several more residential, you know, private trees, but 43 of our city trees. Uh, four vehicles were damaged. There was 12 private structures like homes that were hit by trees. Uh, of those, four are still unsafe to occupy. They have a red tag on them. You can't get back in because the damage was so bad. Uh, two of them had restricted use where they had to do a little bit of a fix to get back in. Um, so it was, it was, it was chaos, um, but I think it was really well-managed chaos. And that, again, goes back to all those groups and people that I mentioned. So thank you to everybody. Thank you to the residents for... Uh, you know, staying in and, uh, you know, contacting us when we, when they needed help. Um, and I thank you for your patience because we are, we are going to need a little bit of time to dig out. Um, and speaking of uh, how we're going to uh, react and respond to this emergency, what do you, what do you want to share with us, Nova? Um, yeah, earlier this week, um, the city administrator um, acting in his capacity as the director of emergency services for the city issued um, a proclamation of the existence of an emergency in the city of Carmel. Mm -hmm. So basically that means um, he's declaring that there's an emergency, which is something that Monterey County Board of Supervisors has already done based on the storms. The governor issued a state of emergency for multiple counties in Southern California and the Central Coast. Um, so we're doing it as well. Um, the, the city council is having a special meeting today at 1.30. By the time you see this, it will have already, already happened. happened. We're speaking to the future yeah. at this point. But, <laughs> but um, the city council is going to meet to consider ratifying that proclamation. Um, and what, is it, what does that do for us? Why do we, we need a proclamation? So what, what it does is um, it just is confirming that we're experiencing an, an emergency event. And it, it opens up doors so that the city can apply for federal funding, like from FEMA, mm -hmm. to maybe help pay for some of the infrastructure damage that we've had. Great. So um, that's happening, happened already today. 
Um, the other thing I wanted to mention was um, the library, uh, Harrison Memorial Library is having an event next week on um, February 13th, which is Tuesday, from 4 to 5 p.m. It's at the main branch library. And um, what it is, it's in a, a workshop on saving your family history. Oh, cool. So if you have a bunch of photos and boxes or scrapbooks or videotapes that you're not quite sure how to preserve them or digitize them or, or just keep them safe for future generations, um, our local historian Katie O'Connell is going to give a workshop to kind of tell people like how you can digitize your old videotapes or preserve your photos and and things so you you have those memories to, oh, that's to last great. for they a long time. They do such cool events up there, so that that'll be great. Yeah, so it sounds like a really interesting thing to do next Tuesday. Uh, again, it's at four o'clock at the main branch. Um, you do have to register, but it is free. So if you're interested, you can go to the city's webpage and see the, the way to register. Great. Yeah. And then the other thing I wanted to mention is um, the presidential primary election is coming up on March 6th, but everybody should have gotten or receiving this week um, their ballot to vote by mail. Um, so take a look at that. Make sure you vote. It's important um, to vote. You have some Absolutely. time to think about it between That's now right. and March 6th to read mm -hmm. the voter guide that comes with it. And then the state is also sending out a separate voter guide. Um, but once you're ready to drop off your ballot, you can drop it off at the Sunset Center parking lot. There's a secure ballot box that's open 24-7. Or you can just drop it in the mail. You don't have to pay for postage. Mm -hmm. You just drop it off. So just this is my reminder. Just don't forget that That's right. um, even though there's not any local, super local to Carmel um, issues on the ballot, there's still a lot of things that do affect our community. It's very important. Yes. Get out there and vote. Yes. What else you got? Um, well, there's a little, a little sports game happening on oh, Sunday, yeah? I think. Oh. Taylor if, Swift might be there. No, that's <laughs> that's not the sports event. Although yeah. um, she'll be a part of it, I'm sure, in yeah. some capacity. Yeah. But. So I just want to say, um, go Niners, and I hope everybody go Niners. Yeah. It's a fun, ha happy Super Bowl weekend. Hope everybody has safe fun out there. Yeah. Um, Chip will be out next week. He's going on vacation. Um, he's going to go see his mom. Hi, Chip's mom. Yeah. Uh, he'll go say hello in person, which is great. I'm sure yeah. that they're all excited to see each other. So. Um, I'm here all week though, so if, if you if anybody needs something, um, you know, come in, give a call. I'm happy to help. Um, Nova, I hope you have a great weekend, Thank you. Super Bowl weekend. And what do we always say to everybody? We say, take, take good, good care. care. All right.